All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Starting my video a little late because uh, I got frustrated very uh, quickly yesterday. Well, not quickly, but uh, Playmaker and all this other shit that I was doing was just not working. I was getting all sorts of like the animation wasn't working, and characters were falling through, and it's just like, okay, now I know what the problem is. Like all this shit is just conflicting with each other, and nothing's working. So uh, I spent like wasted three, four hours yesterday. Concluded, okay, I can't do this. And I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't just do anything. And I was like, you know, that kind of sucks. It's like, what am I going to do? Just play video games and just be a multimillionaire? <laughs> that just seems kind of like a waste. Uh, I did recently read that uh, Candy Crush supposedly costed like 650000 or hundred. No, it costed $100,000 to make. Uh, and then now it's obviously a multi-million dollar, you know, whatever. So... Uh, I'm pretty sure the numbers are a little higher than that, but yeah, but basically, you know, I'm like trying to think, okay, what should I really do? Right. So long story short, I spent all my time today trying to figure out some kind of workaround. And I was also watching Pastilli actually just go in with a pistol and Tarkov and then now he's just killing everyone. It's like, it's actually a very effective way. It's like, it's perfect for someone like me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back and uh, use this old asset called UMMORPG 2D. It's basically a complete 2D. Uh, they actually have a 3D version of it too, but I actually specifically want a 2D version so that I can export it to um, the web browser because that's actually how I'm going to make money for free, right? Because I can run ads, I can have refreshes, and then I'll probably be able to code it eventually so that, like, you know, every 20 minutes you go claim your free in game currency, right? And then, of course, you have to refresh the ads again, and then you have to go back and refresh the ad. So that's how I'll, uh, how I'll do it. They just keep refreshing the ads all the time. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, it has and, and it has like both server and client code. So it's actually really good. And then I also found that for 20 bucks, someone actually released uh, a few days ago, apparently. Uh, actually, this. UMMO RPG uh, Auction House Unity. Uh, auction House for, yeah, this one. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm still on the on the browser. So this thing, oh well, not a few days ago. Uh, that's actually MMORPG 2D. That was that that thing was updated three days ago. This thing came out last month, so you know, uh, and it works with higher versions. And then of course this thing has the complete auction house system. So pretty much I have everything to go, good to go. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that. So anyway, I want to go back to watching Pestily. I really need to de-stress because like. Like, I really don't want to give up on the game, because then what am I going to do? And on top of that, I did delete all my bit shoot videos so that I can remain safe. So, you know, it's like, you know, kind of like little boxed in here. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to quit, but I could clearly use uh, some relaxation. And the only problem with two, uh, MMORP, uh, RPG 2 d is there doesn't seem to be a lot of good tutorials. So I'm kind of still hoping I can... I mean, I should be able to use it so that I can create, like, instances. So, like, you know, you can queue for a dungeon. That's the one I'm trying to look for. And then there doesn't seem to be any multiplayer matching. So, I think what I have to do is I kind of have to, like, manipulate things so that, like, instead you kind of queue for a dungeon. And then it's just, like, 40, like 40 to 60 players constantly coming in or something. And it's just, like, full loot PvP or something. Um... And then I'm gonna to try to create some sort of system so I can have to I have to work around it. So there are advantages and disadvantages, but it looks like I'd rather just take the advantages and I'll just add, I'll just add features later because that's really what it is. But yeah. So anyway, Bitcoin uh, searches for this week is still 16. Uh, so Bitcoin's been getting getting kind of hammered. Uh, I couldn't find out a reason why. Bitcoin does have 65.3 percent. 24 volume is 113.8 billion. Bitcoin itself is at 6253, so at least it looks like it kind of leveled off after tanking for some reason. Litecoin's 3783, same thing. Uh, Dogcoin is 218 million market cap. So for some reason, everyone was just dumping crypto. I'm not sure why, but I think it's because after they pass the uh, stimulus bill and we're going to get our uh, Trump bucks checks around April 6th, right? In my case, that's when I should get because I already did my taxes. Uh, and through uh, electronically and through um, uh, what you would call it, 
uh, you know, direct wire transfer. So the IRS knows exactly where to send me my money. Uh, so I, I think maybe that's what's causing this. Steam is up. Oh, Steam is actually up 18.31 cents. This is perfect because now uh, Hive coins are now available on dlease.io. I actually was spending yesterday uh, also delegating and stuff too. Uh, hold on. Oh my God. Firefox is such a piece of shit. All right, so now it has these two icons. I don't know why their website's designed in such a weird manner, but anyway, you have your Steam over here, and then now you have your Hive, which is hive.dlease.io. We're just gonna go here real quick. Ah, this is the shitty part about using a uh, proxy. And then, of course, you go to the market, and then here you go. Now you've got your Hive coins. Uh, so Haran.news is here too. All right, so right now I'm getting about 12% APR. So now I have two coins. Just Basically, I just doubled my money with this uh, fork, right? <laughs> so uh, it's, it's kind of nice. Sadly, I didn't have a lot, but, you know, you know what? You know, Hive is going to be worth, like, you know, twice the amount of Steam. So basically, I'll just be making, like, a couple hundred bucks a day at the Bitcoin peak. Uh, and, of course, at that point, I'm going to... Um, you know, you know, when I say sell, I'm just going to be selling all my, I'm going to convert all my fiat or convert all my crypto to fiat. So we've got Trump and Biden. He's still in a commanding lead, 10, 11 cents. So very good. All right. So uh, everything looks pretty Tamaguchi here. Uh, nothing really new here. Uh, ramped up stimulus as virus impact by Tarzan. Majority of U.S. rejects Trump's idea to reopen. Uh, this could be a problem. Uh, glossary of the thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's try VD. Okay, so it'll we'll get a coronavirus check. All right. <clears throat> by person, the engineers seem to reject the idea of uh, reopening by Easter. Okay, so March. So March. So yesterday, or at least by Friday. Uh, Heartland approach. Uh, anyone says it should continue social distancing initiative, including shelter, homeowners, despite the impact of that, that includes the any... Okay, so this poll is already fake news terrorism because it says social distancing. Yeah, we're all still doing that, right? No one opposes that. The problem is we still want to reopen and still do social distancing. Uh, yeah, this is a fake news terrorist poll. Who, who ran, who ran this shit? Let's see. Do the commenters here? Uh, let's see. Also, I ran my own poll. Most people said the shutdown's too harsh. So it's like, all right, we're just going to ignore this. Um, all right. So anyway, five to six for GMC coin. So not too bad. Uh, for four coins, actually improving seven to eight. Actually, let me see. Is my uh is my money in here yet uh favorites for a four coin um i really hope that the uh crux wall is not stuck uh oh okay it's still processing 66 of 80 uh confirmations all right very good well i'm definitely gonna take advantage of this seven uh so that's pretty good it's going up that's what i like to see Two by two coin has skyrocketed, sixty-seven to seventy-two. Well, well, I'll be damned. Well, funny enough, it's actually becoming very difficult to mint two by two coins right now. So uh, this just works very well, and of course, compound coins also improving dramatically as well. Uh, so it's at seventy. I'm gonna refresh one more time. I'm pretty sure it's seventy-two hundred satoshis of a dog coin to what was it? It said eighty-eight hundred satoshis. uh 8848 okay oh yeah when i get super rich i think one of the things i'm going to do one day is just uh, because real estate's going to be cheap in florida i'm actually going to have like some sort of like computer that's probably always on you know probably like a simple thing like a laptop or whatever i'm going to turn it into like i think it's a vpn like my private vpn it's going to have good internet connection too and then i'll have my computer connect to that so that in case i ever leak my ip the hackers will get the VPN's address, which is basically an empty warehouse or whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at that. Um, 
I don't know. And then maybe, or, or maybe I'll have it like, or maybe I'll buy real estate next to a police station in Tampa, Florida. So that like, if they get like a report of like, you know, some like hostage situation, they'll be like, what are you talking about? It's like right next door, huh? And they look in, it's like, this is bullshit. Also, it'll minimize the amount of time and money wasted by the cops because all they have to do is just send a couple cops. <laughs> they're just having coffee, right? While they're, you know, having downtime or whatever. And it's like, hey, there's nothing going on. It's a fake call. It's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then they'll call you up on the phone because obviously they'll have access to the records of who owns the building or whatever. It's like, hey, Jason, like, what, what's up with that? Oh, yeah, I'm live here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Yeah. Anything bad happened? No. All right. All right, I'm, I'm live now, so all right. Everything should be checked out. Oh, and make sure you lock the door when you leave. <laughs> Just leave it at that. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So that way I can protect myself. And I assume I'm going to have a family at that point, so, you know. Last thing I need is, like, fucking cops on my door, you know. I mean, although I don't think swatting really happens in Tampa, so, I mean, I think we're pretty solid. But, you know, it's, it's good to have multiple layers of protection, you know. So yeah, compound coins going up. Uh, there, someone's been buying up a lot of compound coins. It's at 563 million uh, volume. So yeah, book, uh, works out pretty well. Um, so for the most part, I really don't really care to look at the news because it's a Saturday, it's the weekend. I, need, I only had like four views on my video yesterday. So, uh, so okay so i don't really see anything here uh there's supposedly more chatter about a digital dollar it failed in this stimulus bill but apparently people still want to keep pushing for it i think kelly loffler the one that did insider trading and got away with it uh, she's actually the wife of the ceo of buck or something and her husband runs the new york stock exchange so i mean i think they're still pushing for it so uh so i think that's probably what it is which is fine you know in that case if you know if if the price of bitcoin going a million dollars is she gets a few million dollars from insider trade then i don't really give a shit right because we all benefit from it so uh yeah you know in an interesting in an interesting way maybe that's why the consequences in terms of karma and the way god basically has is like yeah who cares you know everyone's gonna get the benefit anyway <laughs> so Oh, yeah, because I mean, do I, to be honest, do I really care more about Richard Burr and Kelly Loeffler? Not really. I mean, you know, we just made a big stink of it just out of just habit, right? And out of reaction, you know. Plus, it was also kind of a tense moment because it was like, hey, can we get our fucking steam? Like, for me personally, I just wanted my fucking Trump books. I didn't give a shit about anything else. Now that I have it, now I just don't care. <laughs> so it's like, oh, government corruption. Yeah. yeah it's like, uh,. Yeah, the sky is blue. <laughs> That's how I look at it. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah. It's good. <laughs> you know, eat your vegetables, eat spinach because it's good for you. It's just accepted. It's just accepted. Santana Ripple launch, blah, 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 blah. All right, so that's good. So Mexico's getting some XRP. Uh, Bitcoin investors move mil billions of Bitcoin shifting away from crypto exchanges. Okay. Biggest bubble of the Kaiser of Bitcoin. It's the, okay, Max Kaiser. I used to like him, but he's just kind of stupid now. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything here. There's literally nothing different, right? So people are just uh, just dumping for some reason. They need cash. I guess people really need U.S. dollars in cash. Um, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of changes in the economy because of coronavirus. So now that the dust is more or less settling down, right? Um, and his election odds are doing pretty well. Yahoo's already back to running fake, uh, well, not all the articles, but a lot of them are running fake news terrorism, especially this bipartisan majority bullshit. They ask about social distancing. No one's talking about ending social distancing. We're talking about ending the fucking lockdown. Um, so, uh, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, I don't see anything different, so, of course... I'm not going to do anything because I already bought a lot. So if for some crazy reason you haven't bought any crypto, I mean, now it's probably a halfway decent time. Uh, you know, but for me and most of the people have been watching me even just recently, I think we've bought enough. So like, you know, so it's up to you, but I, I have enough. I'm just waiting for this shit to go back up so I can have some more money in my bank account. But I guess I'll have to just live off of my Trump bucks for a while. All right. Anyway, I need to get back to watching Pestilli and uh, think about using M O O R P G 2d because I, I just it's like 
It didn't occur to me yesterday until until I realized the problem is I'm using Playmaker and this other garbage. It's just like, okay, let's just, just jump the whole thing. So, so, so the good news is I can hold off on my dream script, right? Because I was basing my game on that. And maybe, oh, maybe now I realize. Maybe that's what God's trying to tell me. Maybe he wants me to not do that so that I don't jeopardize the thing he's telling me which is in this case uh, i was about to say the name of the property so he wants me to hold off on that so instead now i go to mmorpg 2d and now i'm thinking you know it's mostly a fantasy thing it's not like i can add guns and stuff later but still be more like a really scaled down version of world of warcraft so you know what i'm just going to make like something silly and simple then it doesn't piss anybody off so it's like oh okay spinach MMO 2D. I'm just thinking for some reason spinach, and then it's just like, you know, in this world, spinach is like everything or something. I, I don't know. Uh, it'll be like this game, um, Hordes.io. I believe that's the game. Um, hold on. So basically, it'll look like this a crappy game, which this guy is. I'm just gonna mute this here. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the thing, right? It's it, get get out of my face. Basically, it's this game, <laughs> right? There's literally no story, but it's just pure gameplay. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go for pure gameplay, uh, and then we'll just revolve as a basic minimal storyline. Just it's all about spinach, right? You know, it's all about spinach. You know, because I just you know just because we just don't care about the story at that point. All right. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, it also uses Mirror, too. I read, I saw that someone on my bitch who mentioned it, and I told them, I like the idea, but it only can support 500 to 1,000 concurrent players. Now I just don't care. I just want to make a fucking game. I'll worry about the other shit later. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and then, of course, the only crappy part about that is, yeah, it means, like, when we really reach capacity, I'm going to have to create multiple servers. People are going to have to, I have to create multiple servers. So it'll just be like, you know, when you play Warcraft, they have like, you know, 200 servers. Well, now it's probably 150 servers. That's basically what I have to do. So it's like, all right, fine, whatever. I, whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, people are still going to click the ads and watch them. So I guess, do I really care? All right. Anyway, subscribe, uh, youtube.com forward slash GMC radio. Uh, smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page. And uh, yes, yeah, continue to grow this channel. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done for the day. I've seen no indications of anything fundamentally different. So I'm just going to assume that people just want some cash, they're chilling, it's the weekend, and we're probably not going to see any real action until Monday. Because um, again, the, the House bill passed, so we're getting our Trump bucks. I should be getting it April 6th, because uh, I think Yahoo, does Yahoo still have, because I actually got it from Yahoo Finance. Uh, well, that's, it's not this one. Uh, I did tweet it out. Uh, it won't be able to anymore. Well, Barron's is a shitty publication. You should never read Barron's. They always have, they're always bearish and they always give you bad, uh, investing advice. Motley Fool is like the, uh, bullish version of Barron's where they give you bad advice, but slightly better. And they're always like on the positive thing. Uh, of course, you could just not read them and just listen to me, and then you would already be up, you know, ever since uh, you got Rebel. With the exception of MRL, you know, we got our asses handed to us there. So did everyone else. Uh, Judson Chan. So you could just look at this one. I still have it. Uh, here we go. It's this one. Uh, coronavirus HX, who is eligible, money.yahoo.com. So you just look at that. That's where I got it. I already retweeted this. So, no. I'm getting my Trump bucks April 6th, supposedly, so good enough. But they'll try, but they said within three weeks they'll try to get everybody the money. That's what Steve Mnuchin and the White House say. All right, anyway, see you all tomorrow. Not much happening. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin. Oh, we're going to need a thumbnail, won't we? Um, uh,. I don't know. We'll just use this. I'm just getting lazy. Oh, yeah, you'll also notice I've been using Yahoo Finance a lot more. It's still better than Daily Holdo, which is basically just got crap.